Hello everyone, I am Conquering History Games, and welcome back to part... Oh, interesting. Uh, to part 12 of my Byzantine Empire playthrough here in Crusader Kings 2. Uh, I just updated my OBS and then I was having some weird issues. Uh, there are some interesting new things. The main thing, it looks like there's something where I can actually pause the recording. Uh, or, but like it's different from stop recording. I don't know if that's gonna make things like cutting easier. I'll have to check that some other time. But right now, uh, we need to continue our holy war. I think I actually, because I was dealing with some stuff on the computer, I totally forgot what my next plan was. But I'm pretty sure it was gonna be the holy war because I don't care what the Muslim rulers think about me. So we were gonna go for Cilicia. Yeah, get a nice big four county bit. Uh, let's double check those factions, and yeah, no, no, nothing too bad, like, right now I'm still gonna lose the, the, um, empire if I die, but it's fine, I just have to hold on for about four years or so, I have a lot of, um, I think, I think most of the kingships in the empire are, <clears throat> excuse me, are held by my, uh, my family members. So like Serbia. Okay, no, no, this guy's not. But you, you know, like Sicily is. Uh, so's. Wait, no. I know that Greece is. I know that Sicily is. Um, do we have a kingdom over here? Yeah, like Trebizond. Did I ever make that? I don't think I did. No, I have not yet. Uh, I need a lot more gold for that. Yeah, we'll we'll do that later. Um, they're trying to make somebody a tributary state right now. Who is this? The High Kingdom of Alania. Well, they're about to find themselves very busy. Okay, here we go. Um, don't need the ones up here. And, uh, oh, you know what? Before I forget, we may as well, since I'm gonna raise, I'm gonna raise an army anyway, let's go ahead and claim, uh, how do I have raised army levies? Didn't I just... What, what's going on here? Answer this call to arms against Sultan Ali of the Zirid Sultanate. Ah, uh, no thank you. That's not really my problem. Okay, let's let's try this now. Yeah, I'm remembering I was gonna... Where do I have raised army levies? What is the deal here? Oh. Oh, I got raised right into a fight. Okay, we gotta wait for the Shattered Retreat to finish up. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Alright. I'm a married woman. Jeez, the whole freaking world's trying to bang me. Uh, I'm not using too strong a word. Alright, we're gonna claim this for him. Wait, is this... Yeah, the kingdom. Wait, I need to give him land first. Uh, let's give him... Castamon, maybe? Amistris. There's a lot of bishoprics here. He's like a theologian, right? Okay, congratulations, you have this bishopric now. Innocent Proposal. Uh, hold on, we'll read that in a second. First, let me declare this war. This is gonna call on Oxford and Barcelona, I don't really care. Um, any other claims I can press? There's a petty kingdom up here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna break it up though, is this guy orthodox? No he's not, neither is he, neither is he, well. That's just the way it goes, isn't it? Uh, we're, we're gonna give it to the bishop, though, here. We'll give him another bishop brick. Um, okay. Yeah, that that's all of it. They're gonna call in Moray. Which is fine. Okay, any other weak claims I wanna press? We have the, yeah, the Petty Kingdom. Okay, uh, what else was there though? The Duchy of Croatia. The whole duchy, you say? What constitutes that? 
Well, that's a kingdom. The duchy. Um, it's like one. It looks like. Or two. No, I would get. Well, because I'm not fighting Egypt. It would be for one county. Not really worth it. Uh, we'll leave that be. Three wars is enough. Okay, let, let's let's read this though. An innocent proposal. One day in the Imperial Palace. Ooh. Ah. Sorry, sit down. Oh, stretch my. And pop my back. Hold on. Oh. Oh, I feel good. Okay. One day in the Imperial Palace, while surrounded by shouting advisors, waving decrees and edicts that demand your signature, a small man approaches, claiming to be a representative of the Venatoi, the Blues, one of the two major chariot teams racing in Constantinople. They no longer have the political influence they enjoyed in the days of Justinian the Great, but they are still popular with the broad masses. You wave your advisors away and decide to hear him out. The man introduces himself as Anaximandros, Anax Anaximandros, and explains that he has a proposal for you. If you race for the Blues in the Grand Chariot race next week, he and his associates will make certain you win. You both stand to gain from this, with the glorious Basilius winning as champion of the Great Blue Team. Ah, huh. that's interesting. Uh, we are ambitious, though a bit shy. No, let, let's try it. That's that's uh, that's different. I don't think I've ever seen this event before. Okay, so now everybody's been called up. We can start assembling. By the way, how many duchies do I have right now? I've only got the one. Okay. That's fine. What is going on here? Kingdom of Egypt. Hmm. Oh, so they're fighting over here. Well, th that's not my concern at the moment. I have higher priorities. France is still not um, popping up. Their, uh, their lieges unusual oh hey this guy um well he's not gonna come to my court i can't invite him he's got a title but uh right right i keep forgetting i've already in i've already bred in I'm or, or i should say i'm already working on breeding in my family i constantly forget i've done that and we already have one right here check this out theodosos Komenos, who has carolingian blood awesome uh, so we have our um, well, we're gonna we're gonna use this army over here to defeat the Welsh, who are Lollards right now. One of these days, I need to do a heresy run. I don't know what religion, but it uh, they can be they could they're they're difficult, but they could be quite fun. All right. So what I think I want to prioritize is let's. Let's kind of get everybody here and uh, assemble them here on the pass to Hungary. I need to eat up these areas too. I'm going to have to anyway at some point. And uh, we're going to take you all as our Asian contingent. So the ones over there are going to go to Brittany and the, uh, these ones here will deal with Rum. Practice makes perfect. You practice hard at chariot racing to better prepare for the upcoming event at the Hippodrome. Despite managing well enough and only falling off the chariot a handful of times, you simply cannot see how you're supposed to beat the other prof professional racers. When you mention this to Anaximandros, the little gnome of a man smiles and tells you not to worry. He assures you that the greens, your main opponents, will not be a problem, and that the other blue racers have been instructed to let you in. You had better be right about this, you tell Anaximandros. If I am to look the fool, I swear I will not be the only one to suffer. Let us get this over with. And I get some Marshall. Yeah, I recently saw Ben-Hur, not the Heston version, but the original one. Uh, not the, actually, I think even that wasn't the original one. The 1926 version, I think it is, with uh, Ramon Navarro as Ben-Hur. That chariot race was really cool looking, but it was, um, there was uh, actually horses and people, like, and stunt people who died filming that <laughs> so I don't think that might have may have been worth it um, the day of the race it is a fine day for it because you know they were simulating crashes and things like that it is a fine day for racing and the hippodrome is packed with people wanting to see their basil ba ba basilis uh, conquer or fail miserably the, in the attempt spyridon the star of the greens looks at you with scorn as your chariots line up I shall endeavor not to embarrass you too much, your Imperial Majesty," he says through clenched teeth. The trumpets blow and the race begins. One by one, the green chariots fall apart and topple over, giving you a clear path. Only Spy 
Spyrodon's armored chariot remains of the green team, but as your blue allies move to block him, their chariots disintegrate as well. It seems both teams had the same idea. The furious crowd storm the arena in disgust at this blatant attempt by both teams to cheat. Back! Back, I say! Uh-oh, we've got riots. Members of the Varangian Guard leap into the arena in defense of their Basilis. Basilisa, and swiftly cut down those rioters foolish enough to approach your chariot. They rush you to the safety of your palace, but the rest of Constantinople burns when the upset crowds spill out of the Hippodrome and onto the streets. As you watch the fire spread from your palatial balcony, you raise your fists to the heavens and bellow at the top of your lungs. <gasps> Anaximandrus! When I get my hands on him. So there's rioters. Uh, looks like we just won, though. <laughs> Rioters have arrived to loot and pillage, so, but yeah, we they, we already had um, we were already here, so they just instantly died. <laughs> That's kind of funny how that works out. Are these guys moving anywhere? Yeah, c c come on, come on down here. The Logorod. All right, so Amida, who the heck is Amida? Oh, this itty-bitty one-county thing has joined in. Well, the Seljuks, I don't think, will. They're a little bit busy right now, dealing with constant revolts. Who's even their sultan now? Son of Ahmad, son of Malik Shah. So this is the grandson of the one who was... Yeah, this Ayetken the Great is the... Uh, he's the grandson of the first um, sultan when we started this game. Okay. So, uh, we're besieging, we're besieging. Good, good. How's this war going? Egypt's losing, right? Uh, defending in war over Wessex in favor of the Byzantine Empire. Okay, so that's going good. We're going to be pausing a lot and kind of going back and forth. Uh, yeah, let's come right over here. Uh, fid. So actually, we're gonna come here, then there, then there. Okay, so this one is actually gonna be a battle. Let's bring our commanders over here. Oh, I am pregnant. Okay. Uh, somebody needs to be my regent. Let's see, Doge Dorotheos. Sure. Okay, we won that easily. Good, 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 good. Now, over here, everybody's assembled and we've also won that siege. We're gonna go straight down here to uh, Slifke. Yeah, and I know that I'm getting these areas that are not, everything's not connected yet, but it'll come. It'll come in due time. It's just gonna be so satisfying when it does. Nice, that's a big old special offering. Uh, oh yes, before I forget, I've been saying this, I wanted to improve the, the Hagia Sophia in some way. I was thinking about stained glass. Hmm. We have the torture chamber. Uh, I don't know what the torture chamber exactly does, maybe I should, but this, maybe I'll do that next. Uh, I want to do some other things. Disease resistance, local tax modifier. No, 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 no. We'll we'll go with the uh, the stained glass. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's always nice to have temple vassals on my side. Or city vassals are good too. All right, we're gonna go city vassals. Right. Um. Oh yeah, I also could have built made the kingdom of Trebizond, but it's okay. Not a big deal. Nothing to get hung about. I lost something somewhere. Oh, is this up here? That's fine. If they want to fuck around on my north coast, it's okay with me. Alright. Uh, we also... Oh my goodness gracious, 879 gold if I want to get a strong claim on Latium. Uh, let's just let that go for now. Uh, which is fine because I get a little bit of piety. Alright, so is this army assembled as well? Yes. Alright. Now, onward to Brittany. We have them outnumbered two to one. Um, yeah. 
Barcelona did not enter the war. Um, Tomas of Sicily is now of legal age. Exarate of Sicily. Is that the proper title? Hmm. I gotta marry this guy in somewhere. Well, yeah, as long as you just make some kids, keep that blood in the family. That William the Conqueror blood. Another proposal. As you walk through uh, a... As you walk at a brisk pace through an empty corridor in the Imperial Palace on your way to another tiring meeting with your advisors, you hear a faint whisper from one of the window curtains. After readying your dagger, you pull the curtains aside to reveal Anaximandros, the gnome man who recruited you into chariot raising. You! I should have you drawn and quartered, you hiss at the man. The entire blue team had their chariots fall out from under them. And the Mandro smiles at you and speaks, Calm yourself, Majesty. Your chariot held together, did it not? I have a new and cunning plan for the next race, one that cannot fail. Your epic victory will be celebrated for centuries to come. Uh... Oh, man, how old's my kid? Maybe if he was of age... We could uh, we could make something happen, but no, no, no. Haul this wretched creature away. Maybe another day. I'll try that if I have a suitable heir waiting. Because because remember, right now I'm gonna still lose the empire if the uh, if the votes held today. I've nominated my son, right? Okay, just making sure. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna go for the top holdings here. All right, we have a new baby. A daughter has born to the purple. Wait, why didn't I get to name her? What the hell? Liege is my husband. Of the Castilian Revolt, right? That is correct. She's Portuguese and Catholic. I don't think we're going to do much with her. Maybe we can betroth her or something, but even then, I think her usage is limited. Okay, so that's going well. Uh, where's my other army? Making its way, making its way, making its way. Slowly but surely over to Brittany. We've finished besieging all of this. Let's go defeat that army, and then we'll whip back around and take another county. Alright, just like that, we're already up to 67%. More heresies! And now we have an uprising. Where are they? Right here? It's fine. We'll deal with Rome. Rome first. Wait, didn't I besiege this? Am I crazy? Did I move before I was done besieging it? I could have sworn I took this. A midnight snack. No. No, 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 no. We've got two uprisings. Oh, no, there's an Orthodox uprising. That's what the Turks are dealing with. Uh, they actually have a decently sized army. Uh, so let's try to take care of these other things kind of quickly. And I have amassed wealth. Great. Hmm. Nobody wants to join in my plot. Okay. Why does this guy want to help kill his own family member? What is up with that? And again, they're always betraying me. Why would they help each other? Because, yeah, I'm trying to kill this kid, right? So he's a, like, great uncle? Hmm. Must be jealous, family issues. Okay. Uh, I didn't know such lewd words existed. I put this is a 99. Uh oh, I suffered a defeat. Was this out here? No, they have not attacked me yet. Then where did I suffer my defeat? It's been a siege somewhere. It can wait, whatever it was. That's 100%! Fantastic. Oops, I think I accidentally accepted a seduction offer. Alright, that's one down. What the hell is this? Offer vassalization. False religion, not my leave, foreign culture, etc, etc. 
Pretty annoying. Pretty annoying. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna now bring these guys down to reinforce the army fighting in Brittany. Let's come down here. Wait, where is this happening? Siege of Korjapa. Okay, so it's the uprising. It it's not a big deal. Wait, am I no longer at war with these guys? Why not? What what? Was I at war with the father? Oh no, did my claimant die? I think he must have died. Let's uh he was pretty old. Damn it. Let's see if we look at claimants. Yep, they're gone. He's gone. Alright, it's okay. We're just gonna bring everybody back. Okay. Actually should or should I think a boat might be faster actually. There's gotta be some boats around here. Get there's another 56. Another revolt. Another one. Another one, another one. So, yeah, there's gonna be plenty for our troops to be kept busy with. This is brilliant work and the world needs to see it. No, let's just get some piety. Whoa, whoa, da, 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 da. Jeez, I gotta be careful that I don't uh, accidentally allow myself to be seduced. Leave me alone! Gosh, it's so annoying being a woman. No means no, everybody. No means no. And then they're gonna go, they're gonna go all, uh, everyone who I'm rejecting, they're gonna hang out together, and they're gonna go, man, the, they, the, women only want chads, and, and you know, there, there's just something wrong with society when I can't get laid by these, these, in, in, you know, these beasts that uh, I just view as objects. I once saw, uh, somebody showed me this clip of a comedian, he was like some Australian guy, but he was explaining the the concept of incels. And so he goes like, well, you see, you have incels who are into voluntary celibates, and they don't like chads, who they see as people who are getting all the women. Then in the middle, you have what are called uh, normies, uh, who are just regular people. And then, wait, what is this? I've become stressed. He's like, I'm somewhere between, uh, wait, what was it? Uh, yeah, I'm somewhere in between, and the comedian goes, I'm somewhere in between a Chad and a Normie. So I'm an, uh, it's also known as a Nad. It's like, come on, do we have any Nads in the audience? Come on, go Nads, go Nads, go Nads. That's like, did he write this entire bit to just get to the go Nad chant? <laughs> just, oh, yep, I am getting seduced by somebody. Damn it. Hey, um, my son does have a guardian, right? Yeah, he does. My Mysticos. Very high intrigue. Good stuff. How are my son's stats looking? Not the best. He's slothful and craven. It's very poor. Alright. Uh, must be strong. Okay, I was wanting to bring both of these armies over here so I could more quickly besiege all this, but... If this gets above, like, the 60s, uh, I'm gonna have to send one of them east, I think. Come on, come on, come on. Leave me alone! Holy crap! It doesn't end! Yeah, one of them's in the 60s. Alright, let's, let's, uh, let's just merge real quick. And, uh, alright, we got that. We need this, we need everybody together just to defeat this Turkish army, then we'll split. Smash them, smash them, oh boy. Over a river into a mountain, that was a mistake. Uh, shoot. Yeah, he's in, okay, so my son is of age now, he's just an amateurish plotter. Um, he's also unlanded, let's give him something. I was thinking, um, a mistress? Yeah, so, yeah, first a mistress. This is like, dynastic land. Whoa, pause, 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 please. Uh, now, we're gonna make him a king. 
Oh, right, I haven't made the kingdom yet. Uh, let's do that real quick. Kingdom of Trebethon. Good. Now, I can give this to him, right? And everything that goes with it. Let's see, we have several new houses. Wait a minute, what? It's another Merchant Republic! I'm <laughs> making these funky-ass uh, Merchant Republics everywhere. It's weird. Damn it all. Let's look at the trade zones again there. I feel like my direct vassals... Oh, it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> Just a bit of a mess. Look at this big old Pannonia, though. How you tore your dress, what a mess. What's this? Um, Your wisdom is legendary, we will surrender, I gain piety. Uh, Wait, I don't think that's correct. We're gonna wait on that. 95! Split this in half, have some of you come over here, and the rest of you need to go deal with this uprising, which is which is the higher priority one up here by Nicopolis. Oops, shoot. Not what I meant to do. Have half of you come this way. Oh more heresies, isn't that great? Okay. Now we've got it. Send it, and oh yes, that's a nice chunk. Yes, I know the rum thing is still big and shooting across is here, but step by step. Um, we want to nominate... Where's my son? Did my son die or something? Sere oh no, I can't because he's a Serene Doge. Okay, it's, it's fine though. We can just nominate um, Michael, I suppose. Yeah, he's still futile. How the heck did that happen? I gotta start paying attention to that. Embarrassing. Is there a way to force him to change his feudal law or something? I don't know. I just don't get it. Hmm. That's all fine. Uh, we could also create the kingdom of uh, Epirus. Sure. And what other kingdoms? Kingdom of Bulgaria. Spend it when you got it! Kingdom of Wales as well. Can't afford that just yet. Why does this guy hate me so much? Female ruler lays levy short reign. We just have a lot of clashing personalities and things. Hmm. Prestige is only given a plus ten. <laughs> Ugh. Oh shoot! Drop my headphones. Okay. Can I? You know what? Can I revoke his title? No. Everybody's gonna hate me anyway. I can't do it for another six months anyway. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Who is this Anteptos? What is it? Anti Exarch Antileos of Aquitaine. Okay, we have a new eunuch that has appeared. Let's just send him away right away. Yeah, but okay, wait, hold on a sec. He dislikes Jews, so don't send him a Jew. Ah. Uh, this one, yeah, eunuch, quick, diligent, deceitful. Oh, yeah, this one's a Jew, so. Oh, cool, cool, it actually shows the the value, so I'll get 340 here because he's just good learning, good intrigue, etc, etc. Um, yeah, we'll Let's send him, he's gone. Easy come, easy go.
Okay, good, good. I'm having trouble. Okay, no. No, this is great. So right now, yeah, my half-brother will inherit. Uh, his wife is getting up there in years, so really got to get it. We got to get her out of him out of prison or hope something can be figured out. Maybe maybe once I'm actually playing him, you know, I can negotiate a way out of the prison. Uh, Sea Realm Prosper, no, that's not going to happen. Because uh, we're going to do another Holy War right now, I'm thinking. Okay, great. Let's have you all come over here, back to Constantinople. Do, 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 we're back in Constantinople. Got a dangerous faction in Constantinople. Despot Michael for the Byzantine Empire. Alright, some people are actually trying to conspire uh, to have him put on the throne. And you know what? If they um, if they push the issue, I'll probably just let him do it. But in the next episode, I think we're going to keep Holy Warring. What's going to be another big chunk I can get? Oh, that's right. It's going to cost me prestige. Who really cares, though? The more important thing is the Muslim opinion, and that's not even important. Uh, okay, we've got three right here in Anatolia itself. Cappadocia. We could link these right here. Three, if we take Charisianon. Charisianon. That'd be good. Where's Churson? Oh, that's up there. Doesn't matter. Uh, there's two there. Two there. What else? Two there. Three. Hmm. Yeah, another three. Rebazon, that's a definite no. So many de jure claims as well. I think what we gotta do is... Not Cappadocia. I think this is what we'll take. Charison on, so uh, Rome will be split and maybe that'll fix the name a bit, how it looks. And any claimants we can get here? No. Hmm. Tis a puzzle. We have a negative monthly balance right now. Oh, my personal demand is way too big right now. Yeah, I have to do something about that. Yep. A lot of my vassals are pissed. Minus 90 right now from them. So in the next episode, I'll fix that. Thank you all for joining me. I'm Conquering History Games, and you all have yourselves a wonderful day. Goodbye.